still have not washed my hair or showered in several fucking days. As far as Las Vegas, Living and Loathing in Las Vegas. I think that's the name of the movie, right? Is it called Living and Loathing in Las Vegas or some shit? And yeah, I'll talk about is it is it good to invest in, should you invest into Las Vegas? And the simple answer is fuck no. Don't even bother. Visit Las Vegas and see what you get out of it if you've never been here. But do not move here. Do not move here. The people are insensitive. The culture, if you're the type of person who likes a community-based culture, this is not the place to come. I'm going to be drinking these every day. It's so fucking cold. It's so fucking hot out here. Air conditioner breaks. Going in place. Oh, I never felt uncomfortable in a city in my whole life when it comes to using bathrooms. They either tattletale on me when I use the women's room. Because I'm a trans person. Usually Mexican women, like I said several fucking times before. And um, all places are just uptight about keeping their bathrooms open, period. A bathroom is an essential thing. A washroom is an essential fucking thing to have. Especially if someone's home, because you're going to turn people down and you're going to complain if someone's washing themselves off somewhere. Are you going to fucking give citations in a park when somebody wants to fucking go on a splash pad? Just because it's a children's park. And oh, you have to be accompanied with the child to go there, because I guess other people were pedophiles who use those fucking. If I got a bunch of cash to buy a house in Vegas today, would I do it? The answer is no. Even if it means I could stay inside more and live a more comfortable life. Because I've seen Vegas from an uncomfortable position. I can safely say I would not want to be in such a place with insensitive motherfuckers. Including the people online who I often meet and they, they shun me and they didn't even answer. Las Vegas is an insensitive place. The people are jerks. They don't know how to drive. And they're more socially conservative than the South, even, I think. You think Vegas is a progressive city? Think again. Vegas will eat you up and spit you out. Las Vegas is not a progressive city socially. Hell, even Columbia, South Carolina is more progressive socially than it is over here. Trust me. I had cash to buy a house. I would not do it unless look my tongue's blue. Yeah. Yeah. I would not invest in Las Vegas. Go somewhere else. Don't waste your time in Las Vegas. And as a trans person, it sucks. I'll tell you that it sucks as a trans person. Unless maybe you're in the red light district and you don't mind paying your rent that way, I suppose. Or something like that. If you want to gamble, you will get addicted to gambling, too. I got the temptation to gamble and I wondered, I didn't put one dollar in. Not even a penny. I thought to myself, if I started putting pennies in, would I become addicted? Would I have to keep putting money in? I don't think I'm going to take that chance, honestly. I was in the casinos. I was in casinos yesterday, looking around. And I'm not gonna gamble. I went out today again. I went to this liquor store area in this tourist part of Las Vegas, off Las Vegas Boulevard. Real sucky and touristy. As nice as the 24-hour thing sounds, I like I like a quiet version of that. Like to know I can go get a beer or something to eat all hours of the day, but not if it's a crowded mess. I mean, there's some parts I don't mind doing that in if the food's good and the area's all right compared to the tourist areas, I suppose. Like the Italian-American Tap House. That's a great place. There are good places in Las Vegas, and some of the food's good, but Las Vegas is overrated for the most part. Now, I really think they got those sports teams as a last-minute attempt to save Las Vegas because it's a dying city. It's like the city from the past. It's outdated. I'll try to revive Las Vegas, but it's not going to get better. It's not going to get better here at all. Save your time if you're thinking of moving here. In fact, I would I'd like to see the city possibly empty out 
So how many anyone's living here anymore? That's what I think is happening anyway. They're saying all these people are moving in, but if that happens, they're easily going to run out of water over there. This could be one of the first cities to collapse in America. But look at how old it is. Look at all the people who've come here. They've come and gone, and they're not coming back if they've had their fill of it. Vegas is going to lose in the future. I don't think this is going to be a place that draws a lot of young people. I don't think it will eventually. You know? This is this is a majority Hispanic city. I mean, if you're a transplant and you're white, I would say it's probably not the place for you to come. Hell, even if you're black, I wouldn't recommend it, honestly. You know? I'd recommend Atlanta over here, or at least somewhere around Atlanta over here. Long term, at least for living. Then I went to Sutherland. I wasn't impressed at all with Sutherland. It's nicer, yeah. But, yeah, let's just say, overall, Outside of a few good things about Vegas, Vegas is so not my cup of tea. The city overall sucks. Okay, if you want my opinion, the city's a joke and it overall sucks. And the police are a fucking joke here too. It's like, 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 like they, they gotta try to make their revenue any fucking way they can. So, because they're not getting revenue apparently. People are moving out of Vegas apparently. They're not moving in. They're moving out. Don't believe what they're saying. They're trying to get the teams here to save Vegas, but it's only it's not gonna work for the long run. I'm telling you right now. Vegas is not a good option to invest in. Stay away from Las Vegas. Talk to you later.